Hi, my name is Grady Turner and I'm an Applications Engineer with the Cross Company Automation Group. I'm here today to show you our latest product in perimeter guarding. It's called GSM. And instead of having all the nuts and bolts that you're usually going to have and all the time spent putting it in, it's very simple, it's very modular. This is all powder coated steel instead of aluminum so you get a little extra strength. You see here we have a panel with these four clips on the end and that's all you need. I'll, show you, I'll go ahead and show you how to put it in. We have pegs on the post here and those will come when you order as well. All you do, line up your clips from above with the pegs, push down until it clips in. So that's clipped in now. Let's do the other side. We get it lined up perfectly. And now you have a panel put in. And you can see how easy that would be to do an entire perimeter of that. And safety regula regulations require you have a specialized tool, usually, you know, screwdriver, Allen wrench, all that mess with the nuts and bolts. But instead, all we have here is a little key. And I got four right here. I'll show you how to take it apart. It's just as easy. There's little holes right here in the clips. Put the key in, turn it 180 degrees, and there's little arrows to show you which way you turn it. Do that on all four. Once you got them all in there correctly, it's all you push down again. You don't have to lift anything. And it comes apart just like that. So very simple. That took about a minute, minute and a half versus five, 10 minutes for one panel with aluminum guarding. And it all comes with a, it all comes ready to clip in. You got your wire mesh here. There's no putting each individual rail together. Very simple. All right, now I'll show you a little closer up how this actually works and how simple it really is. So you see here on the key, there's a little notch. And on the hole right here on the clip, there's also a notch, so pretty easy to figure out. Put the key in. And then give it a half turn. And this metal clip here will have been pushed back. So I'll show you here. The metal clip going back, it's just a little spring clip. That's what holds it together. And that's what allows you to push it off. When you push it on, you'll be coming from above, so it'll just push the clip from below. So you're always pushing down, you never have to lift anything, and that makes it easier to do it with one person, you know, maybe two. <clears throat> also, some of these clips here, you can have hinged, um, you know, for angles, easier flexibility. And these are just the standard. Here on the post, you can see here that they have tapped holes, and then these can be taken off and put on, you know, 90 degree angles. There will always be one side that doesn't have one, and that'll be the outside of your fencing. So if you had a corner piece, you'd have one here and one here instead of on this side. And it can be moved around, and you can adjust it how you want. 